Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a review on my clock. So, it's, well, it's looking for the temperature. That's the most important part of this clock. So, I just got it in the mail about, like, 12 hours ago. So, I just unboxed it already. And it's looking beautiful. It cannot, it cannot look more beautiful than this. So, but I am going to do a quick review of how to set it up. Okay, so, um, let's do a review. But first, let's do, let's see what the buttons mean. So, there's a white button, there's a set button, minus, and a plus button, a search, temp, and alerts. I'll show you what those mean. So, here's the tell sort help in the back, and it shows the battery cover. Um, it shows the batteries on the back. Let's insert them. So, we can adjust the brightness, LCD. We can do the set to enter, enter time and date settings. <coughs> the press minus or plus to adjust values and settings you can also hold them for fast e draws and then press to search top signal or you can hold like two seconds to search sensor press temperature to view high and low record heat index and dew points so that's basically what it means and then hold alerts to enter alert mode set yeah okay so it you can hang it up i hang it up in, in the office i mean dining room but it's an office so it the ac adapter is in there all the way it's plugged in right there so we're gonna set this up so yeah, we're gonna, right, I'm just gonna light flat out. So let's set it up. The first thing I want to do is I'll put timestamps in the description. So um, we can adjust the lightning brightness. This is high, low, no. Yeah, this is high. This is low, and this is off. It's almost impossible to see it on off. Okay, so. And I still have instructions saved, and I have this from another model. Yeah, I have it. I have instructions still. Got about a, almost, so I got it on August 20, no. I got it on August, no, yeah, August 30th, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but, yeah, let's set it up, so we can do English, French, or Spanish, yeah, so, we're gonna press set again, on or off, we can do that. I'll leave it on. We can do atomic on or off. You just press the same button. So, on or off. Yeah, we'll leave it on. In the daylight savings, on or off. Yeah, well, I'll just leave it on as well. Okay, so. Um. We'll start at Eastern. So, Eastern. She's on the couch. Alright, Eastern. Atlantic. Hawaii. Alaska. And Pacific. That's where we live. So, we do Pacific. Mountain. Central. That's where my friend lives. So, he lives in Texas. So, it would be 103 for him. Eastern again, yeah. So, 
um, yeah, I'm gonna press set again. 12 hour or 24 hour? Yeah, we're gonna do 24 hour, even though we can do 24, or even though we can do 12 hours well. Okay, so we can set the hour. It is, yeah, it's 11.03, so we don't have to adjust that, or the minutes. We don't have to adjust the year, or the month, day, and we can adjust from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So Fahrenheit means the United States uses Fahrenheit, and the rest of the city uses Celsius. So you guys can select the one you want to use. And we can adjust it, we can adjust it in HPA mode, or, okay, I don't even know how you say that, but, yeah, we'll just leave it like that, and then we can adjust it. So we can adjust it right here, but on the other mode, we can adjust it by 0 0.3, so it's just, yeah, it's scrolling, so I'll show you what they mean in a second. And I and then I'm gonna put times and dips so you guys know which parts to go to. That's so important to you guys. So, um, we can do, so we're gonna press it and then it'll work for the signal. It will show a tower icon. It's an, basically it's an upside down explanation points. Yeah, just, yeah, pretty much as well. And then we can hold it down for it to look for the outdoor temperature. We're finished with that. And then we can make it look for the outdoor temperature right here in the humidity. I'm not going to show the sensor. You know, forget it. I'll show you. I'll show you where it's at. The sensors. Because I have a mountain outside. I mean, mountain. So this one is for my wear station, this one is for my thermometer, this one's for my clocks, and this one is for my second wear station. This is what my other wear station looks like. This is what my other one looks like. You guys have seen it before. And then I've upgraded to a newer version. So it still shows the same thing as it did last time. Okay, so now we can do temperature right here. So we can do temperature. So it's of the high record, the low record. That's because I put it on the freezer, so it's only 10 degrees. The heat index, dew point, pretty smart actually. And then we'll adjust the alert cell. So. Let's start. Wall words on, negative 28. Yeah, we'll stick with that. We can do on and off. Uh, we can adjust that. So, the lowest possible. So, the lowest possible you can do, I think. Let me see. So, the lowest possible you can do is negative 40. It cannot go any lower than that. And then, the, let's see the highest it can go. So we, we can see the highest and lowest it will possibly go. Yeah, cannot go higher than that. So 132 is the max and negative 40 is the max. Or the minimum, I don't know. Let me know if you guys know how to say it. But I will adjust this back. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go to the one it was at. Because, yeah. Yeah, you guys are gonna want a word station like this. You guys will not be disappointed if you get this. So the high word is on. That's not the maximum. I'll show you guys. So the highest possible is. Yeah, that's the highest possible. And then the lowest possible on the high words. So the lowest possible you can do is 
Let's see the lowest possible you can do. So the lowest, the highest possible you can do is negative 27. I'll adjust this back to what it was before. I think it was 134, no, 133. I'll adjust that back. Okay, so. 133. And we can adjust the humidity. I suppose we can actually do that. So we can adjust the owner loss. I'm surprised it actually has a humidity alert. That's honestly pretty cool. So we can, the lowest possible you can do is 10%. But in extremely dry places, it can register below 10%. So we're going to see. Sorry, that's my cat. Okay. So the highest, the lowest possible is 92%. So we're going to set that back down. Back to what it was before. And I'm only nine, so I know how to remember things very well. And then we can adjust the high alert. Okay, so the highest possible you can do, and this is 99. And then let's see the lowest possible you can do. This, yeah, this is what I look like. It's kind of hard to see, but this is what I look like. So the lowest is 18% you can do. I'll adjust it to what it was at before. And you guys can actually see it going up because I'm pressing this thing right here. So, yeah, we're just gonna leave it like that. And then we're gonna put this up the low alert. So, the lowest possible you can do is 32. Yeah, the lowest possible you can do is 32. And the highest possible you can do is 98. So, yeah, I'm, I'm amazed. Like, this thing is just amazing. I never thought I would have a worst thing like this in my life. So, I think... I'm just gonna set this. I'll just set this a degree higher. Why not? And then we can do the high alert. We'll set it to on. So it's at for 99. So that's the goal of it. 99, the highest. With 99 being the highest, why not see the lowest? 34. Okay. Well, set it to 96 instead of 99. Okay. So, and then the lower alert can be for on. No, it's going to fall. It's slowly falling. So, here is the low alert. The low alert is, with 10 being the lowest, why not see the highest it can go? Okay, so the highest, I mean, the lowest you can, I mean, oh my god, the highest you can do is 85%. So I'll set that back down to 12, what it was at before. Okay, so 12. Oh, actually, we went up. Oh, that's great. And then for our last alert, we can set it to 86. Or we can actually set it higher. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, high humidity feels like sticky. And then 99 with 99 being the highest. Let's see the lowest it can go. So right here, you can see it going down. It's just going down right now. So it's doing pretty good. So it's at 13 with the lowest. It's pretty interesting. I'm actually really proud of it. It's became accurate. And but it just became accurate. And it's such a short amount of time. So you'll have all of your stuff saved. Oh, and I forgot to point out one thing. If you're in the settings, you can press the light button and it will save any changes you made. So, yeah.
it's falling. Oh, you can see the thing changed. It was at 32, now it's at 33. So, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, guys, but it's not Wi-Fi. But, yeah. You can go to Wall Cross Technology if you want to learn. So, I'll show you the forecast icons. So, there is Sunday, um, cloudy, partly sunny, which is on right now. Windy, rainy, thunderstorms, or snowy. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And then also your seasons below. So, on your seasons right here, this is summer, winter, spring, and fall. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that was helpful. Bye, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.